With the release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom on home video, fans have been able to analyze the film deeper than they could before with those really bad quality bootlegs or the movie theater. An image has been circling around in the fandom that depicts the manifest of the Arcadia, the ship that was used to rescue the dinosaurs from Isla Nublar. We get a glimpse of this during the scene where Mills is watching from his computer as the Arcadia escapes Nublar's destruction. Fans have been dissecting the image from the onset of its release, going so far as to ask Colin Trevorrow about it on Twitter. One of the questions asked was why the Pachyrhinosaurus was included on the manifest when it wasn't seen being loaded onto the Arcadia or at any point after getting to Lockwood's Manor. Trevorrow replied that it was likely a remnant of when the dinosaur was misidentified as the Sinoceratops, which is in the film, but he explained further that we didn't get to see every dinosaur that made it off the island, only the ones that Bayona wanted to show us. This also explains why the Brachiosaurus is on the manifest when we don't see it on the freighter or at the manor. In other words, the manifest is not all-inclusive and we may not have even seen the entire image from the way the scene is shot in the film, so that's something to keep in mind for the future. Fans have also been split on what exactly the manifest is describing. We see several columns on the manifest. In order, they are container number, cargo number, item name, size, weight, consignee, and load time. They're all self-explanatory, but what fans seem to be arguing over are the size and weight columns. One side attests that the numbers are for the dinosaurs themselves, and the other side attests that the numbers are for the containers. For example, the T-Rex container would be 13.5 by 5.2 meters and weigh 4,900 kilograms. So, which side is correct? Well, until we get official confirmation from Trevorrow or someone that worked on the film, we may never have a concrete answer, but we have plenty of resources to discern this information on our own. Let me explain. The common argument put forth by those that believe the numbers are for the containers is that the content of the manifest itself isn't correct. For example, we never see the Brachiosaurus on the ship or at the manor, and the same goes for the Pachyrhinosaurus. To explain all this, we need not go any further than Trevorrow's response on Twitter. It perfectly explains away any problems with the manifest, including the Pachyrhinosaurus and Sinoceratops mishap. The manifest seen in the film is not a plot hole. Fans will also point out that the size information corresponding to the dinosaurs isn't correct, such as the T-Rex being listed at 13.5 meters long, when the Jurassic World and Dinosaur Protection Group websites both list the animal as being 12 meters long. This must mean the numbers are the size of the container, right? Well, not exactly. The T-Rex's size has been a subject of constant debate due to different numbers being given by different sources over the years. In this case, the numbers given for the T-Rex have been used before. The Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Survival Guide uses the exact same numbers for the T-Rex in its comparative size chart. It also uses 40 feet for the T-Rex in her separate profile page, but that's beside the point. The T-Rex's length has ranged from 12 meters to 13.5 meters in Jurassic World related material ever since the movie came out in 2015. I'll be making a separate video covering this exact topic, but for now the point is that the manifest numbers for the T-Rex are acceptable and could in fact be considered canon if one chose. But getting back to the issue, outside sources aren't necessary to see how this argument falls flat on its face. All one needs to do is look at the scene of Owen and Claire in the T-Rex's container. Notice anything off about the container supposedly being 5.2 meters tall? Take a look at the T-Rex. She's in a prone position and the top of her back is nearly touching the ceiling of the container. There's no way an animal that is at minimum 4.9 meters tall would be able to stand in a natural position in that container. Going even further, Chris Pratt, who plays Owen Grady, is 6 feet 2 inches or nearly 2 meters tall. We can see when Owen is in the container that he is reaching quite close to the ceiling on his own. We don't need to do tedious calculations to see that the container is definitely not 5.2 meters high. That would be nearly three times the height of Owen, and this is simply not the case. Now let's take a look at some of the supporting evidence that the manifest numbers are describing the animals. The aforementioned Fallen Kingdom Survival Guide has a comparative size chart that matches up incredibly well with the numbers on the manifest. 
Only a few of the sizes don't match up, but most of those are different by only a meter or less. The images of the animals on the DPG website also match up fairly well with the manifest. With that in mind, what do you guys think? Do you believe the manifest is describing the containers, the dinosaurs, or something else entirely? Do you know of more information that supports either side? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Until next time, folks.